Before we move on to the next part of the worksheet, just like in lecture, sometimes I'll show you something a little bit more than what's on your worksheet. So this of what I'm about to tell you is not on your worksheet, but is to help you understand a little bit more. So let's say instead of having A plus C, I actually had A plus C plus D. Well, I would do the same sort of thing I've got up here, but I would add in, and don't worry about all this code here for how I'm doing it, plus vector D, and vector D is 4 in the I minus 2 in the J. And if I add all that up, I would have 3 plus 0 plus 4, which is 7. And 2 plus 3 minus 2, which would give me 3. So that's what I would expect to get if I added all three vectors. So I'm going to actually go through here and graphically do this. And I'm going to add in an extra vector, which goes 4 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2 down. And so all my vectors here, I've got A, and then C, and then D. If I take my resultant vector, now instead of just going from A to C, it would have to go One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the right, one, two, three, up. So I still follow along A, and then C, and then along D, and this gives me my new result vector if I were to add all three of those things. Now again, this is extra information. It's not what you need for your worksheet, but lecture is more than just what you're putting on your worksheet.